be tracking the conflict in a story to determine the theme. We're going to be using the same story that we used on Thursday and Friday of last week, Gate A4. And let's go ahead and continue this work. All right, so we are finding theme from conflict. The, our learning goal is to track the conflict of a story to determine the theme. And real quick, we need to review the four kinds of conflict. So the four kinds that are very popular and that are the basic of all conflicts and stories are um, person versus person, person versus nature, where that person has an issue with like natural disasters or things going on in their environment, uh, character or person versus self, where they have that, what do I do? What option am, am I going to choose? What's my choice? And then we have character versus society. And for that one, I always think about um, Katniss and the Hunger Games and um, in, in her struggle to kind of find the balance within all of those districts. So thinking about these four conflicts, that's going to help you to develop your theme in your work today. So let's continue. So real quick, um, I shared this strategy with my students in my classroom, and I wanted to share it with you too. There is a really quick trick, kind of, to help you get thinking about the theme whenever you get stuck. I call it a when you should statement. So let me show you what I mean. So my frame starts with when and then follows up with you should. So an example of this might be when faced with challenges, you should remember your family and values to help you through. Okay, so when this is going on, so when this conflict arises, you should, and then that could kind of even be the theme by itself. So you should remember your family and your values to help you through challenges. We could simplify that. But these little um, sentence frames always help me get started thinking about what the theme could be. So let me show you the when and you shouldn't. So when, blah, 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 or this conflict, you shouldn't. So again, when faced with challenges, you shouldn't rely on others to fight for you. These are two different theme statements, but they are using that same sentence frame, either you should or you shouldn't. So when, you should. When this happens, you should not. Depends on what fits with your story. All right, so now um, beginning with completing this chart and thinking about tracking the conflict, if you do not remember the story gate A4, from last Thursday and Friday, please go ahead and click this video right now on your PDF presentation of today's work and listen to that one more time before you even begin. So then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so now let me begin. I'm gonna start tracking that theme. So in the beginning of the story, there's that very first call over the intercom of the air Ports. Okay, so conflict, what is the problem or struggle? Well, here's a struggle. The narrator has to decide whether to go to gate four and help or not help. All right, so what type of conflict is this? What is the real world issue that can be applied to this text, another text, maybe a movie that you've seen, maybe some news that's in the media? So what is the real world issue and the conflict? So for this one, it's person versus self, having the courage to answer the call to help someone else. All right, so after this, then we have the next part. So the next conflict arises that we can see in this story. So the airline workers and the old Palestin Palestinian woman do not understand one another. So what type of conflict is this? It is a person versus person, and it's because of the language barriers. This happens. Like our culture, our language can often create barriers when we're not understood. Okay, so person versus person. And then the next conflict that I noticed as I was reading and listening to that story was the narrator, the narrator has to choose whether or not to comfort and talk to the woman. She makes that choice. Am I going to do something or am I not going to do something? All right, so then here we are with this type of conflict and real world issue, person versus self. Again, she's thinking to herself, she's got this choice and this choice and she has to make the right choice for her. 
So this is a person versus self. Having the courage to show kindness to others, which is a real-world issue. All right, so finally, thinking about my theme statement and using that when and you should sentence frame, here's what I developed for my theme statement of something that we can learn from the story gate A4. So when you see someone else facing a challenge, you should show kindness to help ease their struggle. All right. So this is going to be the work that you're doing today, but you guys get to do it with a fun little Pixar video. So your first step is going to watch the Pixar short. So you're going to watch right here, and it's called Joy in Huron, I believe, if I remember correctly. And then finally, you're going to complete the chart. So what is the theme or the lesson? And you're going to be doing that same work. So what is the first struggle or conflict or problem that you see? What is the next one? What is the one after that? If these words, beginning, middle, and end, hang you up, just think about, okay, what's the first one I see? And then after that, and then after that. Just think about it as tracking in order, all right? And then finally, you're gonna use that when and you should theme, statement, sentence frame to get you going. Once you are done with this, you are going to um, make sure that you have completed slide seven, which is that work with um, Joy and Huron. Uh, step two, you're going to screenshot your completed chart, which is that slide seven. You're going to submit, and then finally you're going to read for enjoyment. I've given you a little timer here to start and help you keep track of at least reading for 20 minutes today. All right, so readers enjoy. If you have any questions, please reach out to your teacher, message them in Canvas so that they can get back to you. Thank you so much readers and enjoy.